Hey guys, this is Camera37, and today I'm going to show you how to make um, copper 1 chloride from copper 2 chloride. Now, to make copper 2 chloride, all you need is copper sulfate and table salt. Preferably, table salt that has no additives, which would be potassium iodide, because that is just a contaminant. And you can see I've already begun the reaction because it does take some time and you want it on low to medium heating or high but if it's on high it will start to um, get a little violent and it's like uh, sounds and bubbles and it's not that great so I added um, elemental copper to this solution by the way there aren't amounts just pour some copper sulfate and some sugar in and any amount of water and then stir and then um, after you've stirred, up, stirred it and it's all dissolved, put it on um, heating, and then put in the elemental copper. And then you will begin to see, hopefully, a white precipitate. Sorry, the camera isn't great for recording. But you can see little tiny flakes of um, a white powder floating around. And this is um, your copper one chloride. I originally saw this idea from um, JMAP Science. He did a video on it, and I was trying to make it too, so it was nice that I ran into that. So I just wanted to mention them. And then, so once you're done heating, you're just going to filter and you're just going to filter it. Um, out the white precipitate there you go you can see it all falling out it, it goes to the top first and then it falls um, so then you filter it and then make sure you store it in an airtight container and make sure it's dry first because it um, seems to uh, turn into copper 2 chloride copper 1 chloride does and it's pretty reactive with the air and water especially so dry it as quick as possible um, with a paper towel on your filter paper and then pour, put it in an airtight container and okay if you haven't seen it yet go to um, my website which I just made and it's um, camrock.weebly.com and you can see a picture of a penny in here that was sitting overnight and it's up against the glass and it actually floated up um, from laying down because it um, grew a bunch of crystals on it and it was um, had enough air I guess in it to lift it and most of the copper was destroyed and a bunch of really pretty crystals grew on the outside of the copper penny just around the edge not even on the sides it's really cool so go to my website and check out that picture it's under the copper chemistry page it's right on the home page there so thanks for watching I know this was not um, the best video for showing the production but I did tell you basically how to make it and you can you can see it there the white precipitate now uh, my other camcorder broke sadly it says it's too cold some kind of glitch so I'm gonna have to buy a DSLR in the summer. That's what I really want to buy. A nice, good camera. Maybe it's used already, I don't know. Um, but tell me if you like this video more, or if you want me to see more GoPro videos with my GoPro. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.